And a pleasant good evening to you and yours, and welcome to the Brevard Sports Network. Alan Slaughterzinski with you, and uh, if you had an opportunity to see Landon and Dylan Kiroga last night, tonight we have another one-on-one interview. And this is an interview I've been trying to get for about six months now, because um, I'm here to tell you, I, I, I have followed uh, her career since she was a freshman. Uh, I absolutely love interviewing her. She's got a great personality. She's a hell of a softball player, too. And it is an honor to have her here at the beautiful downtown Brevard Sports Network studios. Please welcome, for the first time, here on BSN in the studio, the Vieira Hawks senior, Jacksonville University Dolphin Commit, Skylar Wagoner. Skylar, how are you? Make sure you're talking to that mic now. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? It's good to have you here. I know we've been trying to do this for a couple of months now. We finally are doing it. All right. Let's just start with the softball. Let's get the softball stuff out of the way. All right. Can you believe that you're a senior already? I mean, it has flown by, Skylar. Talk about it. I I honestly can't believe it. I remember being a, a little freshman. closer. Yep. I remember being a freshman, thinking, "Man, I can't wait to be a senior. Like it's four years away, and here I am now. Like, can I be a freshman again? Can I go back? Would you go back if you could? If you could turn the clock back, would you go back? Yes, a hundred percent. I want to relive all those moments, all those minutes, everything. I everything. Wish, I miss every second of it. I miss all my players that have graduated. All I mean, right. It's just memories that, you know, you, you you wouldn't give back for the world. No, and I tell you, you have created a lot of memories. And obviously, as we progress through this interview, you are seeing pictures of Skyler and highlights of Skyler. And I tell you, it's you've been a blast to cover and a lot of fun. Uh, all right, so let's talk about this year. Down year last year. You're one of the best pitchers in this county, Skyler. There is no doubt about that. And I don't think last year... You started the year off with an injury last year. I think you missed the first six or seven games of the season. I don't think things ever got rolling for you guys last year. You're three and three this year. I like the way you've come out of the gate. Went nine innings with Melbourne. What? Tell me about what do you like about this year's team? What do you, what do you, what do you believe and feel the potential is now six games in? Well, I definitely feel that we're a very strong and powerful team. Um, We have lots of young girls. I think we have like three or four starting sophomores. Yeah. Um, But you can't take that. You can't take away anything from them. I mean, you know, they were put in this position. Hey, you're probably going to start. You know, you're a little young. You've never played with these girls before. But they really took initiative and stepped in. And, I mean, you can tell that we're really blending together. And six games in, I think you can only go up from there. Three and three, I mean – you know, you got to win some, you got to lose some. Last year at this time, you were 0-6. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's an improvement. It definitely is. And, you know, I'm just so excited to play with these girls one last time and enjoy every moment. We're here with Skylar Wagner, the uh, Veer Hawk senior. And, Skylar, um, you're back this year. I, I mean, there's Skylar's stats on the screen, but – you know, let me just let me just shout them out for those that don't want to read. Uh, this year so far, Skyler, uh, in 22 official at bats, 24 plate appearances, she leads the our. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Six. That's uh, Haley Ryder. 16 at bats, 17 plate appearances this year. 438, three RBIs. You already got a dinger. What's working with the bat this year? Uh, honestly, I don't know. It's just. <laughs> It just kind of happened. Um, I don't really hit um, in travel ball, so just to come out here and provide for my team has been awesome. You know, it's really fun for me. I find it encouraging. You know, if you get a base hit, everybody loves it. Everybody gets hyped, and I don't run the bases, so I always come back in the dugout and right, cheer right. everybody up. And you know, it's really fun, and it gets everybody motivated. You know, I, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention your battery mate because I, I love watching Maddie Ford catch. 
She, you know, and of course, you know what I always say, Maddie is for tough. tough. That's right. <laughs> and I tell you, man, she, I really enjoyed the game she caught against Melbourne. I, I was just, I was glued to Maddie because I watched her communication with the umpire. I watched Maddie fighting for her pitcher, you know, and I thought that was incredible. Tell me about your relationship with Maddie. Well, we've known each other for, oh my goodness, like since we were seven years old, we've right. been throwing together. So, I mean, our relationship has just been solid since we first met. And, you know, we really have that relationship to go and talk to each other, say, hey, this is what's working. Hey, this isn't what's working. And I feel confident enough to say, hey, Maddie, this isn't the pitch that I want to throw in this situation. And she can back me right up and say, okay, well, what do you want to throw? You know, does this work for you? And we have that communication and, and trust in one another. And we've been doing it for four years. It so. shows. It shows out there. It really does. And, I mean, we talked about, you know, we talked about your bat, but – Heck of a year so far in the circle, too. I mean, look, so far in the circle this year, a 1.51 ERA. Um, and most of those runs came on one swing. That's it. And all the batters that you faced this year, uh, 37 innings pitched. Uh, you've allowed just 21 hits. Uh, how about this? 71 strikeouts and just six walks. Incredible, incredible control. Um, congratulations, girl, on a great year. Thank you, thank you. I want to talk to, as you look back, obviously I know going to state two years ago was a big deal um, and, a, and a fond memory. But as you look back on your softball career, what are some of the things that might not be obvious that stick out to you that you're that when you get to Jacksonville next year and you're in your dorm and you're thinking about your softball days at Vera, this might pop up or that might pop up? What would be those memories? Um, so my favorite memories were um, just getting out on the field and having shorts practices. Um, we all used to wear like crazy socks mm -hmm. and we would just relax and hang out and it would be short, fun, quick. We'd play some games, hang out, you know, things like that. Just time to bond and hang out. Um, we didn't really do team dinners or anything, but um, when we did get together, we would get a huge table and there'd be like 15 of us and all we'd do is talk about softball and school and all of, just everything. You know, small bonding moments are really what made it for me. No, I hear you, and I, and I like that answer because I think it, it shows, you know, look <sighs> – how do I say this? You come across student athletes that are as good as you are at your craft that may not be uh, honed in as a team player or may not come across as a team. But you come across as a team player, a team girl, girl, you know, that's you, that's your girls. And I hear you say that a lot. And I, and I really like that expression, you know. I've had the opportunity now a couple of times to have some interaction with Jason Adams, the new head coach. I like Jason. I think Jason's uh, – I really like him. Um, but it has to be tough getting a new head coach in your senior year. What was that transition like for you? And I know, you know, Maddie's a senior, so I know that you – you know, how was that? But things seem to be going really good. Um, yeah, so it was a little rocky at first because uh -huh. um, he's not used to having the turf fields, you know. Gotcha. Like I mean, there are a lot of changes. You know, USSSA does a lot for us. Right. And, you know, some people aren't used to having well, He's coming from luxury. Palm Bay. Exactly, yeah. So some people aren't used to having that luxury. Right. Um, but, you know, he's done really great so far. Um, he's given, given us many opportunities, um, done our schedule very nice. I think we've had a great schedule this year. Yeah. Out-of-county teams like Treasure Coast. Right. Right. And um, Park Vista, I mean, those are two teams we've been trying to play for a few years. It was really nice playing them. Great competition. Um, he's done great at getting us uniforms, um, supplies, bow nets, balls, um, wow. workouts. I mean, he's just done he's a done really it. good job of – He seems hands-on. Yeah, he's right. very hands-on, and he's done a good job of trying to mend with us and give us the best possible senior experience, at least for me and Maddie and Gio um, for the most part. And so, yeah. When is your senior night? Um, it's against astronauts. I've got to be there for it. I okay. got the schedule up. It's April 25th. I'm going to yeah. be, I, I am definitely going to be there for that senior night. And I didn't mean that he's coming from Palm Bay to make it sound. That's not what I mean. You, and people don't understand 
you're right. The luxuries you have at USSA, and when you're a softball coach at Palm Bay or Melbourne or wherever, there are a lot of things you do as a manager that you don't have to do because yes. they're taken care of at USSA. That's what I mean. 100%. They even have uh, the mounds moved for us. We're not allowed to touch the mounds. We're like, hey, can you We can't do interviews the on the field. Did you know that? Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's a little it's crazy. tricky to get right. around. But, I mean, it's a blessing to be there. And I wouldn't want it any other way. No, I love turf. So. <laughs> it's, it's great to, uh, you know, I, I, I love broadcasting there. And I, I just think it's a great facility, and I think it's and I think it's a great experience. I'm going to be honest with you. I think if with the way the facility is, I'd love to see them open it up to as many teams that want to come there and play that they can fit the schedule in as possible. I think that would be great. Mm-hmm. You know, you could buy a season pass. You know, they could sell a season pass for 150 bucks. You can come watch all the softball you want it. You know what I mean? For Brevard County High School softball yes, yes. tournaments would be different here with uh, Skyler Wagoner and Skyler. Um, let's talk about your choice in college. Uh, as you went through the Jacksonville University, the Dolphins, as you went through the recruiting process, I know you were recruited. Um, why Jacksonville? And, and, and look, I get it. You fell in love. You like the coaches. But why? I mean, why? Why was it Jacksonville? You know, they, it's cliche, but when they say, you know, when you feel it, you feel what it. What did you feel? I honestly felt like home. Like right. I, I don't know how to explain it. You know, you felt I, like you were already on the team. Yeah, right. Yeah, I felt like a family member already. I um, I did a three night visit or three day visit, two nights. Uh-huh. I got to stay in the dorm. I got to hang out with the girls. I watched them play a few games. I watched their routines, how they acted, how they interacted with their coaches, how the coaches interacted with the players. Um, I got to take a tour of the school, go to a basketball game, just really immerse myself in student life. And mm-hmm. honestly, it felt great. I fit in pretty well. Um, I That's really, important. Yeah, and I really enjoyed the small school um, vibe. Like, I love Vera. It's the perfect size. It's pretty small, and it's about the same size as Jacksonville. I won't get lost. Right. <laughs> And um, <laughs> their athletics are really good. Um, Pretty good team. They're 12 and 11 this year. Yep. I mean, we're Nike sponsored. Okay. I just want to put that out there. I love Nike. I love Nike uniforms. I got you. They okay. look good. They look clean. I love the colors. I can't get away from green and gold. So. Okay. <laughs> um, but You play some big time competition. I'm looking at U- Clemson. UF. Univer- yeah. University of Florida, Florida. You know, University of South Florida. So you get yourself in that mix as well. Um, yeah, yeah, I can see that. I, I can. I'm looking at the roster now. What were you told in terms like, um, let me look at the pictures here. What were you ter- told in terms of, um, you know, Kerry uh, Holtz-Richter, a junior pitcher, got a senior pitcher. Where do you fit in next year? Do you know? Um, no, I'm not sure where I fit in, but I definitely know that me and the few other girls that are in the 2023 class are going to make a strong impact next year and hopefully it's you know a good one now the head coach is erica ayers yes all right okay all right there you go all right all right good well i'm glad was was it close was there another school you were thinking about i mean did you come down when till you, you tell me okay so um i did go on a few other camp i went to a few other camps um i went to a unf camp uh uh-huh. And I think that was it. But really? I honestly, my first camp was a JU camp, and that was that was it. That was it. Um, I did see a few other schools. You know, I talked to them. I did a tour at FIT. Right. But it came down to like which one felt the best, and I had the chance to play Division One, and I didn't want to let that go. And um, I have a cybersecurity uh, field in uh, mind. And I want to talk about that. Go ahead. So, um, and a minor in teaching. Okay. Um, because I work at Manatee Elementary, and they've really shown me that. What I'm do really... you do there? So I'm a first grade tutor. I teach phonics. No way. I teach phonics to little kids, and it's just kind of shown me that I really love I to didn't teach know this. and hang out with little kids. And so I don't know. Maybe if cybersecurity doesn't work out, I have that minor in teaching for education. So hopefully I can do something with that in terms of I'm, my life. I'm upset because, uh, you know, I love Coach Silverstreen here at Florida Tech. Would have loved to have seen you stay here, but I'm happy for you. I'm glad. 
How, well, tell me what you get out of teaching. I, I, this is so cool. Um, I Honestly, I love seeing the kids. Um, so I used to go to Manatee. Okay. And my first grade How did teacher, you get involved in that? So I know the principal, okay. um, Miss Shannon Daly. Her daughter plays softball with the Brevard Heat. Okay. And so me and Maddie usually coach with them sometimes, help them out, you know, if they need help, go to right. practices, be little mentors. And so I met her, and they had an opportunity arise through VR High School called Ray's Tutoring. Love it. And um, I texted Miss Shannon. I was like, hey, can you set me up? And she was like, yeah, come on over. And I've been there since, like, I believe uh, December. Wow. Maybe November. And I haven't left. It's been amazing. I've loved every minute of it. It's just, I that, enjoy teaching. That is incredible. What about, so... But you want to get into cybersecurity. How does I, I man? I, you 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 are unique. I mean, you teach. You, you can do anything. But why cybersecurity? Why is cybersecurity it for you? Um. So I really wanted to do something with, um, like intelligence uh -huh. and um, just computer science in general, because that's the way the world's moving, and I want to make sure I have one foot in, so that way I can be there. And my sister's in the military, so... What branch? Uh, Air Force. Okay. She lives in Okinawa. Okay. And, you know, she's just kind of inspired me to do something with... Maybe, maybe I don't want to go straight into the um, armed forces, but I definitely want to do something... Do you want to explore that option? Kind of. Kind of? I want to do um, cybersecurity analysis, maybe work with, like, the FBI or something. I got you. Work, you know, remote... Okay. But, yeah, I want to do something in the career technological career field. Do you ever see yourself over here at UTSSA playing inside the big stadium? You ever you ever think about that? I do, I do, but you know. We'll see. Right. It depends. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> We're here with Skylar Wagner, uh, Veer Hawk Senior, and uh, I, I tell you, by the way, your your interview this. The sponsor of this interview tonight is BlackRock Engineering and Technology, which is one of our biggest sponsors. And uh, Coach Loverter Jones is the owner and founder of BlackRock Energy uh, and Technology here. And it is the largest cybersecurity company here in East Central Florida. It's the best in Brevard. So, Coach Loverter, there you go. When Skylar comes home and needs something to do because she can't tutor, BlackRock Engineering and Technology is where Skylar Wagner needs to be. All right, you ready? Take this. Here you go. Ready? All right. Skylar, I'm going to have you sign that, too, after okay. you're done. All right? I'm, 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 I'm going to get your autograph. All right, so you're in the circle. Now, Maddie calls for a rising fastball. How do you hold that thing? Okay. So I am left handed. Oh, let me let me get your let me get your screen by yourself. Okay, so make sure you hold it out and show that camera. Okay, so I am left handed, so this might look a little weird, but so because I'm left handed, my hand has the C, right? I hold it like this. So what I do is my back finger is always on this seam, pushing well, rise ball. I'll be on this side. Uh huh. And then my up my first finger, my index will be like like a little pirate. Gotcha. Like up here. A little pirate, I like that. <laughs> And I will hold my middle finger here on the ball. My pinky, I just use it for stability, so you don't even need it. And then your thumb will be right here on the bottom of the C, holding the seam like your first finger. Now, it has, does it have to come out a certain way? It comes out. I come backwards, and I'm flat, and I spin it like that. Gotcha. And I curl my arm up, and it goes like that. What about that beautiful change-up you throw? Okay, so this one's really weird. All right, go ahead. <laughs> um, I hold it like a normal four seam. Um, I take my pinky off, I bend my first finger back, and I spread my hands out, and I palm the ball. So okay. I like that. I got you. Now, what else do you throw? I throw um, a curveball, a screwball. Show me a screwball. Um, it's the same as my curveball, uh -huh. same grip. I hold it right here. I put my fingers on each side of the seam. Curveball, right? Or right. Screwball. Uh, screwball. Screwball. I will, yep, hold it like this, have this finger on this side, up. This finger flat, and then you don't need your pinky. So. And do you twist your arm a certain way when you throw it, or so, is it just in the grip with a with softball? So with me, I throw it um, a, definitely a different way than most girls. Right. Um, my hand is flat like this, and I just spin it like that. Okay. My hand doesn't move. My arm doesn't move. It's just my wrist. 
Hang on to that ball because I'm going to have you sign it before okay. uh, you leave here today. That's awesome. That is that is simply awesome. All right. So that's the softball and the college. Now I see you at all the sporting events. You are through and through. When I say student athletes should support other student athletes, boy, you sure do do that. What does Skylar Wagner do? Oh, you know what? Before we get to that, tell me about your travel ball team. I want to know about your travel ball team. I'm sorry. Talk, talk travel ball. Um, so Who do you play for? I play for Rock Gold Mineta. Okay, now where is that based out of? Um, I be- it's Fort Myers. Okay. Yep. Uh, Evangelical Christian School is kind of is where um okay. coach Johnny Mineta. Okay. Coaches. That's his high school. Um, but I just joined them this fall, and there are well now I there's like. Five Ju commits on the team. Really? I believe there's five now, or no six. Wow. Six. Yeah. It's um a catcher, pitcher, first base, second base, shortstop. I think that's it. Six commits. Is that six. Yeah. yeah. So now, are you playing travel ball this year? Or are you yes. done? Okay. Yes. Oh, so yeah. you play clear up till you go to college. Mm-hmm. Yep. I wow. Don't go until Are you 18? No, I'm not. Okay, so all right. I mean, okay, I got yep. it. So I'll play. Um, my last tournament is PGF Nationals in California. Uh oh, where in California? Uh, Huntington Beach. South Cali. South Cali. So, yeah, okay. I'm spend a week out there. Last year we won the tournament. Be so, careful. You know, we have some uh, one upping to do this year. But all right. Be really excited. Okay. 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 And uh, I take it you're the pitcher. Yes. Okay. That's a stupid question now, but that's why I said I take it. <laughs> All right. Now, does anybody else from the team play on that team with you, or is it just you? No, not my high school. Not that my is high school. crazy how you all go out and play on these travel ball teams, and you may be the only one on it. I see that a lot. That is wild. Okay, okay. All right, Skyler. So tell me about how does Skyler relax? What does Skyler Wagoner do when nobody's watching and nobody knows? How do you relax? Um, well, I really like reading. What do you like to read? <laughs> um, World War Two books, like, but like in a more fictional way. Um, I like them when they have music involved. I got like you. Something fictional, but I don't know. Had have you seen the movie Pearl Harbor? No. You've not seen Pearl Harbor with Ben Affleck. I don't think so. Do yourself a favor if you like World War Two. Rent the movie. I, I, listen to me. I sound like the old guy. Rent the movie. <laughs> Get the movie, Pearl Harbor. Okay? It's got Ben Affleck in it. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal. It's a love story, and it's about World War II. It's about the bombing of Pearl Harbor and the Doolittle Raid after. Mm. I'm telling you, Skyler, you're going to love it, and you're going to thank me that I recommended right, it to all you. Right, all right? All right. So get, get watch the movie Pearl Harbor. How did you become an interested in World War II? Um, well, I read a book in sixth grade. It's called Echo by uh, Pam Munoz Ryan. I don't think I said okay, that. Okay, right. that's all right. But um, it was about um, three kids who were affected by World War II uh-huh. and how they came together through music and inspiration through their family members, and they became a classical band like a uh, orchestra and they played together wow that. and uh, after that i've just loved that genre. have you ever read the diary of Anne frank yes great book it is. great book it and is. Uh, i tell you it's uh yes definitely definitely do pearl harbor all right music wise what is skylar listen if i picked up your phone right now and i turned your bluetooth on in your car what would be blaring out of your phone right now oh um, I listen to a little bit of everything, but probably something heavy metal. Who's your favorite heavy metal band? Uh, Falling in Reverse. I'm okay. going to go see them in like a few weeks. So That's a good band. Yes. They are heavy. Yes. And I love anything heavy metal. My sister and me listen to heavy metal on our way to seventh and 11th grade. Do you, do you like hair metal? Like from the eighties, like, like Motley Crue. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's my favorite all time. Anybody who says, Alan, what's your favorite? It's Motley freaking crew. That's my favorite all-time band. So, 
I, I will not recommend any Motley Crue movies to you. Not at all. <laughs> Absolutely not. I will not do that. Um, so what about, now, now, you say your sister, uh, siblings. Tell me about your siblings. You have any, uh, how old is your sister? Uh, my sister is 22. Okay. So is, is that your only sibling? Mm-hmm. Okay. How do you all get along? Uh, not very well. <laughs> I've always been a little bit bigger than her. Okay. So, so you're competitive. Yes, okay. very competitive. Um, but, I mean, I love her to death. Um, gotcha. We're, we're a lot better now. Um, she does live in Japan. Okay. So, I mean, it re- it's really Does sad. she like it there? She loves it. Does um, she? Yeah. What's she, she like does. best about Japan? I mean, to me, that's a whole new way of life. Uh, she really loves the culture. Really? Okay. Like, it's definitely diverse from what she's used to here. But, I mean, she loves the water, the people, the food. Their, cool. Their gas all of it. stations are actually, um, like, their Publixes. Right. So it has all their food in it. So when you walk into a gas station, it's all your food. So that's one thing that she thought was really neat, that your gas station probably has that's the cool. food out of anywhere you go. Uh, that's awesome. So, yeah. Your mom and dad are pretty cool. It, it, man, man, man. I like your mom up in the press box. She does a good job up there. She's funny. Um, wow, man. I, I, I tell you, it's uh, it's just so weird to think that I thought, you know, I can remember covering you and your team, you and Maddie, a couple of years ago. I'm thinking, yeah, we got two more years, you know, but I mean, the time has just flown by. What do you remember most from that state championship run? I remember Anna hitting a home run. Yes. In Durant's game. Anna Brait, right? Anna Brait, yeah. Right. She hit a home run during Durant, and it really just put us over the top with the lead. I think we won that game five to zero, and I remember they thought they that. were going to win. Remember they that? Did and they were being so mean about they it. They were. And you know what? First inning, three up, three down. Anna comes you. up, hits a beautiful <sighs> shot, and we're up like 5-0. And I just knew from there it was locked down. That was the game. And I remember watching the, the previews that because you were there. Right. And the count was 2-2 two and two on the girl. It's what will the turning card be? She rocks, she pitches, she throws. And it's strike three. <laughs> and Pierre's going to the state championship. And I just remember. And that was like, that was that the was awesome. all for me. I, you know, that is a fond memory for me. That game right there. And Jace Jackson's 18 pitch at bat. You remember oh that? Goodness. In that game? She had a double, I think, after that. Yeah, it was. It took like 10 minutes to yes, get all those balls back. <laughs> I, it was crazy. Absolutely crazy. It was a lot of fun. It, it really was. And you girls have been a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, we're going to miss you here in Brevard. What are you going to miss? You're not, I mean, you're not that far away, but Brevard County has some things that are pretty special. What's your go like? What's your go to spot here? Like, you know, you want to go get something that's unique to Brevard County, something to eat, or where is that for you? Hmm. What's your go? What What is your go to deal like when you when you get done playing softball? What do you got to go? What do you What do you have to have to eat? If you're in a feel good mood. Hmm. Well, I love Publix. There's not very many Publix. Do you like Publix subs? I love pub subs. Yes. Those are like amazing. All right. Right now, what's your what's your favorite pub sub? Ultimate on Italian. Okay. And I get um, onions. Yeah. Green peppers. Right. Olives. Right. To, um, lettuce, tomato. Okay. I get. Light mayo, light mustard, and sriracha. There's no Publix in Jacksonville? I stop at a Publix. There is, but it's not near the campus. Oh, no. Okay. But I'm really excited for Bucky's because there's one like right oh, near yeah. the Oh, yeah. The brisket at Bucky's is the best. It the, is really And the taffy. Good. The taffy. Uh, I'm a big taffy guy. And, and it was funny because Caleb kind of got a little upset with me Monday. We went up to Daytona to go broadcast the boys game. And... That stadium where the Daytona Tortugas play is about an exit and a half south of Bucky's. And so on the way up, I said, we'll stop at Bucky's after. And Caleb said, okay. But he had to get up and go to work the next morning at 6 o'clock. So I didn't feel like stopping after. So, so I put it on him. And we got in the car. And I'm like, hey, man, look, you know, you got to get up at 5 to go to work at 6. You want to go to Bucky's? And he just gave me that look like he knew I didn't want to go. He's like, no, let's just go home. And, of course, two minutes later, he went to sleep yeah. on purpose to make right. me drive by myself because right. I didn't go to Bucky's. But that's all right. <laughs> uh, Skylar, what do you want everybody to know? Well, before that, what are you going to miss most about here besides your family and your friends? Um, 
the field. Yeah, they're I playing mean, there. U Triple S A has it's just an amazing field. A lot of people are very controversial about turf. You know, oh, I don't like the way the the rubber pieces feel. You know, this and that. But I've I've learned to love it. Um, I love playing on turf. The ball moves fast. I love a good fast game. I mean, there's nothing better than a, a good no, I agree. turf field, and they've provided me that. With, for four years. I'm looking at Jacksonville University's stadium right now. Welcome to Debbie and Fred Pruitt mm -hmm. softball complex. And it ain't turf. I know. It's all dirt. I know. Okay. All right. Well, the seats are nice. The press box, they, the seating, there it is on your screen. The seating is the same. They just don't have the turf or the overhang or <laughs> any of that other stuff. <laughs> no, nah, you know. Um, We'll get out there and win a, win, win, a, win a national championship. Tell them, say, come on now. I will. There you go. <laughs> Skylar, what do you, what, what do you want everybody to know about Vera Hawk softball program? It's coming back, baby. Yeah? It's it's going to grow. We're going we're gonna to be a powerhouse. We are a powerhouse, but it's just going to get even better. Seniors have legacies. What do you want yours to be? What do you want to be remembered as at, at Vera? I want it to be that I was tough. Right. And, like, not scary, but, like, you know, dominating. intimidating, dominating. But I also want them to look up to me and be like, I want to be like Skylar was on the field. My intent, my, you know. Team drive. leadership. Yeah, I want that. that to be remembered as well. Okay. All right, before you go, here's the, here's the uh, Sharpie. Sign that, sign that softball for me. I'm getting Skylar Wagoner's autograph. I got uh, last year. I got Alex Sosa's autograph on a hat, and so I got to get Skyler's autograph on a softball. There we go. I got it. Make sure you hold it up. And let everybody see it. You ever? How many autographs have you signed? There you go. Just one. That's it. <laughs> I got Skyler's first autograph. Skyler, thank you so much for uh, coming in the studio today, taking time with us here on Brevard Sports Network. You have been an absolute blast to cover. A lot of fun. We aren't done yet because we still got the rest of your senior year, but thanks for everything. Of course. Thank you for covering us. We appreciate everything that you do for us. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So that'll wrap it up with the Vieira senior pitcher. And uh, I hate to label her because she's so much more, as all you student athletes are. Um, but, you know, Skylar's always been kind of one of our favorites here. You know, I'm not embarrassed or bashful to admit that you know i i we just we've enjoyed covering skyler and uh it's great to have her in studio before uh she goes off to jacksonville university so for skyler wagner i'm alan slaughterzinski for the brevard sports network have a great night everybody and you know the drill right make it a sports night